Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Good luck. I'll try to remember to fix my audio each time I live stream. I do try so hard. I halfway caught it, but it wasn't good enough this time. Okay. So we're aware that this in many circumstances is playable. Not every circumstance, but many times you can play this way. Um I'm a bit confused. So maybe third file rook against static rook in this extremely insistent way might not be correct. Um, hmm. Well, now I'm curious. Now you got my curiosity. So I'm threatening to take here if they pin my bishop. If they don't pin my bishop, I have many tactics. I wasn't setting a trap on purpose. I'm just confused about extremely confrontational openings. So uh, let's check. We got the overlay correct. The chat window shows up on it. Etc. It's all good. You can see on there my latest 81 dojo rating, and um, from that know that uh, I'm on the verge of demotion if opponents on the weekly ladder continue to do well against me. I'll have to try harder. Okay, so my thought here was that this rook cannot capture this easily. And therefore, my opponent has a difficult position. Um, hmm. No, the opponent has, still has a pawn. If I go here, well, <laughs> if I go here, they might sacrifice this pawn uh, for tactics. Um, hmm. And then drop the pawn back here. And maybe I should accept that and be happy for it. Or maybe I should be greedy and try to grab the knight. But then they defend the knight. And then I reinforce my attack, and then they attack my bishop. My bishop moves. Everything's loose. Let's try this. Yeah, this looks advantageous. Oh, this looks much more advantageous than one turn ago. Unless I'm really missing something. Um... So if I take here twice with the bishop first, I lose my rook. If I take with the rook first, I think tactics are favorable. And pretty severely so. Um, wait, dot. <laughs> I'm playing my own game. Um, you're trying to tell me don't do this, but I'm the one playing a rated game here. So I'm going to play what I play. I'm not taking audience moves. Sorry. I'm sure there were excellent things to play here. Um, but I think my position is still very good. A oh, one five bishop. Yes, yeah, that was the trick. So that's why we had to do rook takes first. I'm just assuming 
the opponent only saw that way and didn't see the other way. Um, so they can use a silver to protect the head here. They can even drop the rook, actually. The rook drop might not be a terrible idea. Uh, I didn't consider that until after I dropped this here. But, yeah, no, my rook drop, really my intention is to go around like this. Uh, but I wanted to undefend this bishop first. Um... So now the bishop is loose, and both of these pawns are loose. So this could be a target later. Also, I guess having the silver moved up this way can't go this way, so... Yeah. <laughs> Our proverb before the game. Castle your king after seeing where the rook moves to. Did you see that up above? I'll... I'll copy it for us. Um, uh, this is the proverb we observed earlier. Um, well, this is where the rook is moved to. So where do I castle? I don't think the proverb covers this case. Um, but no, I think what I'm trying to do is next promote this. Maybe retreat the horse. I really want to attack, but attacking just backfires if you attack too quickly. When you have such a heavy attack, it doesn't need to be fast. But rapid attacks are very exciting to play and to watch. Um, but no, this horse absolutely does not belong in the corner. If I could gain a tempo by moving it out of the corner, that would be excellent. However, like, knight drop, silver up, this check might be possible. But if I drop the knight, maybe they don't move the silver. And they just leave it here. My horse sits in the corner, waiting a better day. Also, knight drop, silver up, this check doesn't really do anything. <laughs> go, go, go. Well, it's the opponent's turn. We have to be a little bit patient. Um, damn. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what the opponent's trying here. They want to attack. However, this bishop is still cut off. Well... In retrospect, what they're doing is sensible. Oh, wait. Now, if they drop here, I have two pieces attacking this square. I thought that they just forked me, but that would be a fork that costs an entire piece. Um, yes, I'm going to bring the horse back this direction instead. That is a fork. Mm-hmm. All right. What do you do next? You have one piece in hand. And I've defended the head of my king. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. This pawn is actually concerning. Oh, well, okay. They trap their bishop. Temporarily, but all things are temporary in some sense. Um, <laughs> 
so I win a rip. Okay, my opponent's not cool with that. That's fine. Um. Go Hmm. Hmm, I wanted a rook, man. I wanted a rook. I'm not getting my rook. Hmm. I am ever so slightly disappointed that I don't get my rook. It's okay. Well, maybe I still get it if I drop my knight here. The two pawn rule, Nifu, prevents them from. Yeah. Well, no. At this point, I don't think we're so concerned about that. At this point, the game seems unrecoverable. Hmm. Um. As long as I play accurately and patiently, I don't think there's any surprise my opponent can foist on me. So, like, I can bring this pawn up and back and over and take the rook. That's a four move plan. Um, so, that's one. I don't even want to like retreat like this. It's such a sad retreat. Um, <laughs> now that I think more about it, winning the rook is not the only thing I can do here. Yeah, I could win a rook, but I could also win a silver or a gold. Um, <laughs> now the trickiest thing the opponent can do here would be eventually drop the lance on this file to pin my token. Thanks for the game. Actually, if they were to move the rook up and then drop the lance, that wouldn't do anything. If they were to drop the lance right now, I have some ways to counter it. So, <laughs> winning without moves or moving the silver or the gold. Hey, that's what the proverb says, right? Uh, attack with the rook. Yeah, no, that's a one down opponent. Good luck. I meant, forgot to say thanks for the game. But yeah, good luck to the next opponent. Hmm. I always hesitate. All right. Okay, so they defend this point. So then this fork becomes real. Uh, to deal with this fork, one solution is to protect this end of the fork. Um, hmm. Hmm. 
Tactics are sharp these days, you know? Um... Hmm. I was about to protest that move. But it's fine. Um... Okay, this is dangerous. Don't try this at home. The idea is I want them to drop the pawn there. And that alternatively, I've searched this position and I don't see the fork. There might be a fork and I've looked for it and I just don't see it. Welcome. So... Um... This is extremely weird. Uh, okay. I don't know what's happening today. Sure. Something is happening this game. Alright, so if I take that, I'm in trouble. What if I don't take it? Nana Fun. I think my opponent might be tilting. They've blocked their bishop twice. Um, They could still win this if I'm stupid. I guess they're banking on a rook drop on my back rank. And that I fall for some tactic. Which just hasn't happened yet. Um, that was my guess. That was the square I wanted to drop on. I mean, <laughs> um, hmm. Oh. If I give them a bishop, hmm. I'm not fully Gofu. confident that I'm fine there. Hmm. 
so much tension. If I knew this position were okay, then this would be less tense. I'm just not super confident about it. Well, I could take here, couldn't I? Uh, that would give them a silver. I'm not sure it mates. Why do I need to checkmate here? There we go. Finding sensible moves, one move at a time. Yep, so I guess we're all confused here. Something. Is this game, I just keep attacking. My attack never runs out. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, two games down, one to go. Let's do it. It's our next proverb. Recapture. Good luck. Recapture the vanguard pawn with the opposing pawn. Okay. Oh, this is always a bit spooky. Um, shit. How do you play this thing? Um. Hmm. Recapture the Vanguard Pawn. Well, this is not a Vanguard Pawn. It's gone one step further, but... I think the same concept applies here. 
Um, problem is they have this bishop five five drop that I've done a thousand times before. Um, Mm hmm. Yeah, this is uncomfortable. Um, I don't know, is this playable? Like, I'm thoroughly turned about here. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm giving up a lance because I don't know why. Oh, the opponent doesn't actually want the lance. Am I giving up? No, my horse can still escape. Um... All right, our opponent is playing something super sharp. Nana fun. Hmm. How do I counter this? Oh, now the opponent can use the knight to attack the same way that... Oh, that's so dumb. I shouldn't have done this. Well, maybe. I don't know. This isn't working. That's the bottom line there. Um, because the opponent can just sacrifice the knight to repeat the tactic. That's weird.
Hmm. I'd offer a rook exchange, except I'm not going to get one. Even if I offer it. If I could offer the rook exchange and get away with offering it, but of course I would, but I can't get away with that. Hmm? Hmm. My opponent gets to promote their rook, don't they? Or a pawn, rather. Well, this is even worse. Um, let's bail out over here. All right, so the next idea is a pawn drop here and returning some of the medicine they gave to us. Um, I'm looking for ways they can attack before I have a chance to do this. They could bring out the rook before I have a chance to drop the pawn here. But aside from that, I don't know that there's a way. Just... Simply advancing the rook looks reasonable. I don't think they're going to find that. I'll be impressed if they do. Oh. Alright, they chase my rook. Hope that was a fun chase. Yeah, their rook promotes. That's fine. I mean, this position's sad, but the promotion itself is okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Fuck. <laughs> the silver drop. It's right there. I want. Well, no. I'm attacking a bishop here. This, my attack lands first. But otherwise, the silver drop would be ruinous. Um. Might still finish me. But it might not. I played this retreat because, in general. Oh. Well, never mind. No time for Go such through. abstract nonsense. Um. The silver supports the bishop, so the silver can't move. It's pawn attack. That's not the pawn. Um, hmm.
We've been trained to look for moves that both attack and defend, and we've been trained that defensive-only moves do not work. But this is attacking a dragon. No, the pawn drop would be ridiculous on account of this pawn. Um, hmm. Three Yeah, we'll see. This is not looking good. This lance drop was impulsive and perhaps belonged elsewhere. I'm just not thrilled that this is the way things are going. Maybe I could have dropped the lance here, but that looks so dangerous.
Again, I'm playing impulsively. That was a dumb... Uh, um... Hmm. Nope. Hmm. Well? No. Nifun. Hmm. Decisions are hard. Decision making is challenging. Thanks for the game. Well played. All right, three down, zero to go. Hope we enjoyed watching these games today. Yeah, thank you. Um, hopefully we learned something from this. Keep focused, keep attacking the king, have a plan, all these sorts of things. A little pattern recognition never help, hurts. Um, and some opening study wouldn't hurt either. But anyway, hope we enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.